Hi there, today we're going to go over the contractor dashboard. So first I am going to log in with my username and my password, which is information you would have gotten from the building division once you registered with us. Okay, and this link is on our website, so you're able to go into your contractor dashboard from there. Again, we've logged in now with our username and our password, and I'm going to quickly go through all the tabs here um, on the dashboard. The first tab is the contractor. Um, you'll see if you go below, anytime you go to another section and you want to get back to the dashboard, hover over contractor and over to dashboard and left click, and it brings you back to your dashboard. Next, you have required documents. This would be in a situation where you have permits that are pending that are missing documents, such as possibly a notice of commencement or a contractor sign-off. Um, so you can click on that tab, and right now we have nothing in there. However, if you were required, needed to submit documents for a permit, this is where it would show that. Again, we'll go back to the main contractor dashboard, hover over contractor, over dashboard. Next is required authorizations. This would be any sign-ons that were required for your permit. Um, again, once you click on that, it would show in there any authorizations that were waiting for you to sign on to a permit. Permit detail, if you click on this, you can search any permit um, that you might need information on. Uh, so we'll just type in a permit number here. You can't look up a permit that is not your permit. It would have to be one of your own permits. You can't check other contractors' permits. So we're going to hover over contractor again and back to the main dashboard. Uh, this is uh, my profile. You're able to go in and change your phone number or your address or your email address. Any kind of information that you might need to change, you would do that here. And then click Save. And we'll just go ahead and do that. And click OK. And we want to go back to that main dashboard. Hover over Contractor. And down we see that we can change our password. So you don't necessarily have to keep the password that we gave you to begin with. You can change it to something else. Apply for a permit. This is the tab where you're going to be able to apply for your normal residential permit or your express permit. And again, you would hover over those and click on those and it would take you to <clears throat> those processes. Alerts. If you click on that tab, it's going to show you any alerts you might have, such as documents needed or that your escrow is low. Um, it'll, this button will turn yellow if you have any kind of alerts. We're going to go back to the main dashboard. And on the main dashboard, what you see here is your pending applications. These are all permits that are still pending um, that are yet to be issued. The next tab is going to be your, of course, issued permits. So these are the permits that you've already been issued. Um, the next tab is your scheduled inspections. We don't have any scheduled at this moment, but once uh, you do have some, it will be in a list here. Sub authorizations, that, again, that are, those are sign-ons. Here is your ESCO balance. Um, you can see any transactions that have happened on any of your permits. Let's click on one, and um, from here you can see each individual charge for that, that transaction. You can also print a PDF report of all of your transactions from this screen. You're going to go up here to the right hand corner and you're going to go down and select your PDF. And there you can see you have your all the details from your escrow account. And we will go back and you can um, choose any type of transaction. You can also choose a to and from date and you would hit load and that would change your search parameter. Licenses, this is the tab that, where you can look to see that everything is up to date and if anything needs to be um, sent in it would show that here. We can go ahead and click on these tabs. Okay, I believe we went over the contractor dashboard and